Hello, welcome to this video on Sony's AI PTZ Auto Framing Technologies. My name is Claire Lam, I'm the Category Head of Network Cameras. And I'm Gary Cox, I'm Product Specialist for the Network Cameras for our European business. Hey Gary, Sony has recently developed the AI PTZ Auto Framing Technologies and applied these technologies to our SRG A40 and A12 PTZ cameras, our edge analytic appliances and also the upcoming BRC AM7 PTZ cameras. So would you explain more about what is AI PTZ Auto Framing and how does this technology work? Absolutely. So what we have developed with our PTC Auto Framing is an advanced AI algorithm that tracks on multiple trigger points. The camera will look at the subject, the person on stage, and we will build up a skeleton layer. As well as having a skeleton detection, we have head detection, we have color and pattern recognition, as well as facial detection. By combining processing on all of these algorithms in real time, we can ensure the camera is always following the subject matter. So the person's on stage to ensure that they're composed in a natural way and followed the same way a videographer would typically follow somebody on stage. This is all done autonomously with our advanced AI algorithms. So can I say this technology is a very advanced and unique technology in the market as we have more AI algorithms for accurate tracking and natural framing, while other tracking solutions in the market can only do, for example, facial detection or just motion detection. Absolutely. By combining the algorithms that we just mentioned, it isn't a case of just having to stand on stage and be looking at the camera for the camera to autonomously follow somebody. With our advanced processing, we can ensure that we can follow the subject, the persons, whether they're facing the camera, whether they're side onto the camera, or even if they've got their back to the camera. When you're moving, we will always process on the skeleton detection or the head detection to ensure the composition and the person is followed the whole time. Then this is very superior, so can I see the demonstration on it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We've got a setup here, so we have our SRG A40 camera, so we can have a look at how this works in the real environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can have a look at uh, the PTZ auto framing and the configurations and the compositions that we can utilize um, to enhance how somebody is framed, how they're composed in shot, and how the analytics for following them is managed. So. Very simply, from the web UI, our web app, we can go to our framing settings. And this gives you the very simple uh, interface to allow you to change your uh, framing, uh, the start position of where the camera looks at to, to before it starts tracking, as well as the detection settings where somebody would need to be placed in the frame before the AI tracking is activated. So initially, what we can do, as you can see on the web UI here, we can change the composition to a close-up we can even have a look at the framing. So do we want the person always centered in frame or do we want them offset to the left or offset to the right? And you've got variations that you can adjust and you can play with here, as you can see. So once you've chosen your framing composition, simply submit OK. And that is it with regards to changing the composition from a full body to a close up. If we want to change that yet again, again, very simply, we would go to the PTZ auto framing settings and simply change it to waste mode. Again, we can have a look at the composition element and we can again say we want to offset that person to the left, say OK, say OK, and then the composition will be framed in that manner. Likewise, changing it from waste to full body, we have exactly the same adjustments again, where we can leave it on the center recommended position, for example, say OK, and then OK, and that will start the decomposition in full body. As well as having the ability to change it from close up to waist to full body mode and adjust the framing, we can have a look at what the camera is looking at from a starting point of view. So we can position the camera uh, to the, where we want it. So if we had a podium off to the side here, I might want to focus in onto the podium. Uh, I might want to zoom in a little bit more. And we can say, okay, well, that's where we want the start position to be. And we can also look at detection settings and this allows us to drag a blue box area anywhere within the frame. So only when somebody were to stand within that blue frame area, would the actual camera react to that person and then frame them on the composition settings that you had set. But you see, you can have that either as the full camera view, or you can really limit it down if you wanted to, if it's more of a formal stage environment with a lectern or a podium, you can set the tracking subject area to only be triggered when they're on the podium position. 
that's how you set up the composition and the framing. Our AI PDSA auto framing technologies is now commonly used in education, corporate, or even media broadcasting segments. For more information, please visit our Sony Professional website.